Ain't no self-improvement without discipline. Ain't no discipline without punishment. And ain't no punishment like the following game. I right, step one, we're gonna max out on the dead hang. I'm gonna start the timer. Now, I obviously sped this part up, but wanted to leave it in the video. So you know, I really was hanging for as long as I was hanging. You can see me dangling. This was indeed a, actually the fattest dead hang I've ever done to date. It was a max, a max out on hanging. That's about it. Stopping it at 119, I probably did like five seconds of pausing the voice recording instead of the timer, but that's okay. We're gonna call it 119. I'm gonna chop that number in half. So a minute, 60 seconds plus round up to 20. That's 80 seconds. Cut that in half, that's 40. I didn't think this one through. Intentionally, I was saying whatever half the number of seconds I hung for, that's how many reps I'm doing. Now, I'm not gonna do 40 reps. So why don't we cut that in half and do 20 reps? If you've never watched my workout videos, you know, I typically do eight reps because I'm trying to get those gains, but I haven't done any kind of endurance work or cardio in like six months. So this will be a nice little change, I think. Anyway, we'll start off here with the chest press. I'm pushing 125 right now, that's my max. And being that I'm doing so many reps, 125 should be a fun place to start. And uh, speaking of starting, I'm gonna get right into it. No warm up. let's go. 20 reps. Call it at 17. What's going on, my friend? Um, so I couldn't. I think the one that paid you in the past was my husband. So I yeah, couldn't find you on Cash Up. That's why I haven't paid you. It's loot bucks. Now the folks are done shopping loose stuff in the middle of the set. Really toward the end of the set. I'm gonna crank out the last three because I ain't no bitch. Still got 125. Yeah. <clears throat> Set one down, exercise like one out of six. I'm gonna try to do this for at least three of the six exercises, but we'll see what happens. Maybe I'll do it for all of them. But I don't know, this will be a fun workout either way. All right, so four sets of exercise one, the chest press complete. I only did 20 reps for the first two because I figured that might be a bit much. So now, exercise two, dumbbell bench press. I've been doing 60 for the last two chest days. So now I'm doing 70 because someone was bogarting the 65s. I'm gonna try for 20, but if I could do over 10, that'd be cool. But I bet I could do 20. Let's go. Alright, next up, we got the plate press. I got this 45 pound muscle right here. And I'm gonna try to press it 10 times. Enough. Hello. All right, now that's over, we got the peg fly. I'm at 147.5 pounds. I've been doing this weight for a couple weeks too, but at this point, this motherfucker goes up like 20 pounds at a time. And I feel like 160 would be a bit much, especially for a guy that's about to do like 12 reps, just like I am, 12 to 15 minimum, maybe 18. We'll see what happens. Shot. 12 to 15 minimum.
Get out of that shot, Twig. <laughs> All right, one exercise left, but I gotta wait for an adjustable bench. So in the meantime, I'm gonna max out again. Uh, what, at the beginning of the workout, max for, or I hung for like 80 seconds. So now I'm gonna go ahead and try to hit two fucking minutes, two whole dirty minutes hanging on this bitch. And uh, yeah, I bet I could do it, no problem. Two whole dirty minutes hanging on this bitch. And uh, yeah, I bet I could do it, no problem. Onto the last exercise, incline dumbbell bench press. Like I mentioned, 60, 60 pounds. Just like the flat dumbbell bench press, it went so well. May have done too many reps on that earlier because it definitely ended the last few sets feeling like shit. But this one will be much better, I bet. And that's that as far as this video goes for the most part. I recorded a really nice outro once I actually figured out how to properly sit on the assisted pull-ups. But unfortunately, I had forgot to record with my mic. So just enjoy this clip of me doing one of the many ab exercises I do in between sets. Uh, I usually do this at the end of my workout for the last exercise. I sit on this ball on my knees uh, and surprise, surprise, I max out on that too. Uh, I'm up to like a minute 15 seconds bouncing on this ball and uh, if you're curious as to what it does if you'd like to try it I'd highly recommend it I feel like it improves coordination as well as being a core exercise and uh, just a great way to zen out you know meditate collect your thoughts mid-workout or like at the end of the workout prepare for the day if uh you're working out at the beginning of the day or reflect on a long day if you're working out at the end of a day anyway if you made it this far thanks so much for watching that's me opening my arms to give you a hug through the screen and uh, as i finish sitting on this ball let me remind you that this is your time to click on all the links in my bio especially the one to my instagram and uh browse my shop because it's basically just my instagram page all the items you see there, whether it's sneakers or clothes or anything else, all for sale. If you live in the United States, you're interested in any of that, send me a DM and uh, let me know where to send it and I'll send it right to you. You can cash at me, you can sell me, you know, we're flexible. I'm flexible, as you can see by this video. And uh, yeah, follow me on TikTok and basically just click all the links in the description and follow all the social medias and you'll see more of these clips if you enjoyed it. You won't regret it. Anyway, that's it. I'm out of footage. Get out of here. Blue runs. <laughs>